Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Salisha. I am 28 years old. I literally just started my journey less than two months ago and super excited to document it. So today I am doing a new binder setup and this is actually gonna be my wedding binder, yay! Um, but first, I wanna start off with our quote. So what is going on here? Um, start off with our quote from our I am enough box. Let's see what we get today. So, I am worthy of everything good in life. I deserve to be happy. I can't read y'all, I ain't got my contacts in. If my mind can, can conceive it, if my heart can believe it, then I can achieve it. I like it. I was a little slow in reading that, but I like the message. It definitely, it starts in your brain first. If you don't believe you can do it, then it's not going to happen. A lot of times my mind tells me I can't do it. Then I'm like, I can do it. And then I go back. Um, so definitely you got to see it, believe it, dream it, all that good stuff. Touch it, feel it till you have it. Um, I'm literally on my little break right now, but I was so excited to come and record that I was just like, I'm going to do it now. I'm not waiting until I get off of work. So um, this is the binder I've been working on. Where do I even start, y'all? Slow down. Calm down. So um, this is my wedding binder. I went ahead and made this little decal for the front of my binder. So I guess we'll start there. Let's go ahead and put this on. I think I made this slightly bigger than what will actually fit on here, but we're going to try anyway. And I don't know why I'm trying this without my little mat, but you know what? Who am I kidding? Don't judge my mat. It's done been through some things. I mean, this is old faithful. I have like three of them, but I still come back to using this one mainly because it's the one that's right here in my face all the time. And as you can tell, she gets used a lot. Hence all the little dirt and X, Y, and Z on here. Why can I not get this today? Is it because I'm on camera? I don't know. Let's try this side. Maybe it, it feels that I'm like rushing, trying to knock this out. And that's why I don't want to come. I don't get it. Normally, it's just easy peasy. You just pull your little paper back. And not today. Not for me. I don't even know if y'all can see that if I'm in camera. But all I'm trying to do is take my little tool to separate the Stronghold transfer tape from the backing and it's not working. So I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna put a cut in there and hopefully now I can go ahead and get it up. Maybe it's just me. I'm being a little too rough maybe. You know what? I'm gonna stab this thing. It's coming off one way or another with force, however I need to get this thing off, it's gonna come off. Let me try to flip it this way. Here we go. I have never in all my little cricket experience had this much of an issue trying to pull apart some transfer tape. That's crazy. It don't want me to be great. So I'm just gonna stick it on here. I, sh I don't know why I didn't leave my mat out, but whatever. Stick it on here and take my little, whatever this little thing called, we gonna call it a spoolie, a little transfer spoolie, whatever, I don't know. And sorry, y'all. Y'all know my table is shaky, so that's exactly what it's doing right now. Shaking up a storm. This paper is kind of my um, vinyl that I'm using is glittery. So I figure I need strong cold tape, but maybe I don't because it's not even 
picking up. Why don't you like me today? Let's see if that does the job. Mm -mm. Not a nothing. <gasps> it broke my misses. Okay. got my misses but nothing else let's try this again something let's try this little piece I ain't never had this much complications typically it just pulls right up but maybe this was not the vinyl or the transfer tape I needed I probably should have used the standard grip instead of trying to use the strong grip. I just thought since it's glitter on here that I would absolutely need the strong grip. But I think the standard would have did just fine. Maybe it's just me. Booyah. All right, so we got that bad boy off. Now let's see how it's gonna look on here. Again, I made this slightly bigger than I should have. I probably should have made this a little bit smaller, but uh -oh. it is what it is. When it comes to making your own stuff, well, for me personally, when it comes to making my own stuff, I get a little whatever it don't matter i don't mind a little bit of imperfection when it comes to my own stuff i may just have to cut off a little bit on here yeah i may just have to cut off the ends a little bit we'll see um hopefully do me nice please I know that's a little dysfunctional going on right now, but because I'm on camera, I mean, because my table is shaky, I don't want to have it complete, <gasps> completely rocking. Let's see, it's looking okay so far. Let's push that down a little bit more. And slowly peel back. I don't want to put my little if you don't put my little thing on there, I may have to go back and just add that piece separately. Let me try one more time. Look at this stick. There we go, okay. My little and sign is sticking. The G, I can't be Miss Gein. I need my R. It's Miss Green. Let my heart stay. Ah, ah, boom. We got it. There it is. Now I'm just going to take my little scissors. Because again, I made this a little too long. And hopefully it don't look tacky. But then again, it's my binder. It's okay. You know? When you're dealing with handmade crafts, sometimes it's just the way it is. Okay, it's a little cute. 
Mr. and Mrs. Green. So um, I'm making us a new binder. We are getting married and the goal is to have this happen this year. Um, I know the year is almost over. Girl, how you gonna plan a wedding in the next few months? Watch me, we gonna make it work. We started out with such big expectations and goals on how we wanted everything to go. And now it's kind of like, we just wanna be married. We want to be married. We want to start our family. We want to, you know, not waste any more time. We've been together for seven years and it's been a journey getting here. Like we put in a lot of hard work and dedication to getting to where we are today. And we don't want to wait any longer. We're ready to be married. We're just ready. So whatever that looks like, we going to not whatever that looks like. And as far as the relationship was, we not going in nothing um, bad. We definitely put in the work to make sure that we're in a good place and ready for our commitment. But um, as far as in the wedding itself, I don't care how big and crazy and lavish it is. Um, of course, it's, it's definitely going to be something nice. I'm not, you know, having anything ugly, but um, it don't have to be no $60,000 wedding. $20,000 in and out. Um, we have a lot of friends who are able to accomplish it for um, close to that amount between fifteen dollars and $20,000. And all their weddings came out pretty nice. So we just like, we're going to lower the, the, the expectations on how extravagant we were trying to go and focus that into other little areas and knock it out this year. So that is the goal. Um, we have not set a date yet. We're still in the planning phase, but I want to get my binder ready because this is going to be my next, like, this is going to be my main priority going forward. So let's get into the envelopes that we have going on in here. Okay, so for our envelopes, so the first thing I have on here, and I know it might be hard to see these just because they're all in white. So I'm going to just use this to hopefully be able to show you. But my first priority is wedding band. Um, Dan did his his thing with choosing my ring. And we did go, like when we first got engaged, we did go look at rings to see what kind of ring he would like. And he, um, we did see one that he likes. It's just a, a nice little band, but it has diamonds around it. So we found a band that he likes and that is my main priority to knock out for him um the next thing that we have on here is wedding planner so we have i have two people in mind um one lady she did she's in um georgia and i really i really 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 want her to travel to florida for me and we've been communicating she says that she will so um, still in the works of getting everything figured out with her venue. We've been to plenty of venues. Um, there are two that we do like right now. We're just still trying to decide which one um, we're going for, what kind of idea we're going for. Um, event rentals, I guess it's like my flowers and um, chairs, tables. I know a lot of venues come with those, but I know the look that I'm going for. So event rentals. Um, wedding dress, of course. I'm blind as a bat, y'all. I really should have put my contacts in. I don't know why I played myself. It's getting later in the day. I've been staring at my work computer all day, so I'm getting a little sleepy. My eyes getting lazy. Um, tux for Dan. We have beauty, and this is for both of us. So beauty for me, obviously, is my hair and my nails, all that good stuff, makeup. And then for him, it's getting his hair braided um get his you know cut all that good stuff um catering we have to have some good food you know nothing worse i mean i guess it is other stuff worse but going to a wedding and the food is horrible um bridesmaids this is an envelope that i'm i want to do like something nice for my bridesmaids um on the morning of the wedding like you know have some cute gifts for them um or something something nice for them and the same thing for our groomsmen so something set up nice for them um photography because i'm only gonna have one wedding y'all I'm, I'm one and done like we getting married one time so i need my photos to be on point um obviously for the dj goodness gracious the next one is cake um i know a lot of people when they think about weddings like i feel like a lot of girls like growing up they're like well I want this beautiful cake I've never thought about a wedding cake I've never really put too much interest or thought behind my cake I really wouldn't 
I, I mean, I'm not gonna say I don't care, but I'm not that invested into my cake. It's okay. It's it's a cake. That is what it is. <laughs> I wanted to be pretty, but I ain't like. I don't need no two thousand dollar cake, and I I know these cakes can be expensive, but I'm like I don't really. I, just give me a nice little simple cake. Um, transportation. Um, as far as in, I don't know. Um, I put that in there just in case. I don't know what kind of transportation we're gonna take, but as far as in leaving the wedding, what kind of um, transportation we want, but yeah. Alcohol, because that's gonna eat up the wedding bill a lot. Um, Airbnb, we do want to get um, you know, our closest friends and family and get an Airbnb a few days prior to the wedding so we all can kind of just hang out and have a good time. Um, honeymoon, we originally wanted to go away for 30 days go visit four different destinations um for our honeymoon and we still plan on doing that it may not be directly after the wedding but that is something that we are still wanting to do and then party favors i haven't looked into what kind of party favors i want to do but i do want to you know show my appreciation for people coming and supporting me on my special date got to be more careful i just pinched myself um for people showing up on our special day and then I created these. So I made these little um, placeholders to go inside the little trackers or if you will, for my binder. So let's see, what's the first one? It's actually the wedding ring. So I made one for each envelope just so I can kind of, I don't know, I like coloring. I like having little goals, something to come up with. I think we're gonna write in green because I'm becoming Mrs. Green. So for his ring, um, we did look at it and I wanna say it was like 15 or 16, let's say $1,600. And we have four, eight, why, don't I, why can't I count? Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28 of these. So each one of these, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna round it up, is $58. And what did I say the total was going to be? 1600 If you guys have not noticed yet, when it comes to me and my channel so far, I'm winging it. Um, some progress is better than no progress. I understand I'm not all the way in order with my things and cash stuffing and um, getting everything together. But in small, little, small little steps. I'm excited. I'm excited. I know that I should be a little bit more organized with my... Um, stuff but it is what it is now wedding planner um we haven't gotten to that part yet of her telling me what her total is for her i know the previous lady one of the ladies that i was looking into um her fee for her not the event rentals was six thousand dollars so i'm a little lost if i want to fill in a number here i think i'm gonna leave that blank because we are getting to that soon of her telling me um how much her fee will be venue so venue we are looking at six thousand dollars um if we're going off of some of the venues that we've already been looking at um yeah buddy i should have just went <laughs> i should have already had these in order or something because which i so venue we were looking at six thousand dollars for some of the um recent ones we don't know which one we're going through yet but let's say 6,000, there's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 of these. So divided by 40 is 150. So we get to color in each little building or house, if you will, $150 for each house. um what's my next one we have the event rentals i feel like i just pushed this around to the back or something i just seen event rentals maybe i didn't maybe it's sitting right here in the front okay so event rentals again i'm gonna leave this one blank because i don't know um what my rentals are gonna total out to be so i'll fill that in at a later date my wedding dress, I'm going to set myself on a budget. I don't know. Well, no, I'm going to leave that blank too for now because I don't know how much my wedding dress is going to cost. I mean, I would love to stay somewhere between like 
around three thousand dollars um but i have not price checked to see how much a wedding dress goes for um or anything like that same thing for dan i have not price checked what his will be like so when i actually get around to stuff in this binder i'll have a better idea now beauty i can ballpark that i know that my makeup will cost me somewhere around like let's just say 120 to round up and i know that my hair for me to get it um i'm wearing a wig y'all my business for me to get my new wig is gonna be um i'm gonna i want I'm gonna go on the upside, the upper end, because I still haven't decided if I wanted to do a pent up style or um, long hair, but I know me, I'm probably gonna go long. So I'm gonna say 375 for my wig. And for me to get it installed will be 150. I'm gonna say I'm gonna spend 130 on my nails and et cetera. And we're gonna throw in a $100 buffer. Dan, to get his hair done, his hair braided is $85. And for his haircut, or his edge up, he pays his barber 40. Yeah, I'm gonna say beauty is gonna be 1,000, give or take. I think it's gonna be less than that, but I'd rather round up and have more than what I need. And we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 of these. So let's say that's $29 for each one for beauty. I feel like I'm leaving something out though. I'm, I'm sure I am. I mean, but whatever. So for catering, um, a lot of these have been like $150 a plate. I'm just gonna go on the deep end and just say it's $150. We plan on having 150 guests. Scratch that. We gonna leave this blank. We gonna leave this blank, y'all. <laughs> Again, we still at the beginning stages of the drawing board of figuring out what is necessary, what we want to keep and what we don't really care to keep. Um, bridesmaids gifts. I have 10 bridesmaids. Um, I have 10 bridesmaids. I don't know how much I want to spend in this category just yet. So I'm gonna leave this and groomsmen blank. I don't know why I didn't. I, I thought I had it all figured out when I was doing my, like, okay, I'm going to do my new binder setup. I have, like, majority of the things that I I want to put in here. No, I don't. No, you don't, CC. You don't have it figured out. Um, photographer, we know who we want, and he is $3,000. He's someone that we went to college with, um, and he's the best. He is worth every penny, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 of these. Um, and he's flying from Cali, so he's moved, he moved to Cali. He's going to fly in for the wedding, so $3,000 on him. That is something that, that's important to us. We want some good photos, and we trust him. Um, DJ, I don't know how much the DJ is going to cost. I would believe it's like around $500, I, but again, I don't know how much a DJ goes for. Um, for Dan's 28th birthday party, I spent like, $300 for a couple of hours for um, a DJ to come out, but I'm not planning on using him again for the wedding. So we shall see. Cake, I want to put $1,200 on here is like my max that I'm going to spend on the cake. But again, I don't know how much it costs. I don't want to just put numbers on here and I really don't know. And same thing for, I guess, the rest of these. So yes, all of these are the ones that I don't really have like a number um, for yet. But by the time I start stuffing, I'll figure out more of these. I have a better idea of what I'm stuffing in each one of these um, envelopes. I was going to do a video on how I created these envelopes and how I created the little decal for the front of my, um, for the front of my binder. And I forgot. I just got kind of in the zone of um making it and never recorded it so i can do that for another video if y'all are interested if you're interested in seeing how i made my little trackers my saving trackers or how i made the envelopes or even the decal at the front definitely let me know i'm more than happy to make a video on how i did it but this is the binder it's a little thick already with no money in this <laughs> Um, I plan on stuffing this in the next day or two. I just haven't had a chance to go to the bank. So I have a little bit of money on me and then I have 
of course the money from the one dollar savings challenge still lingering around lingering around because i have not um put that away yet which is ridiculous and before i go so i just did a little timu i wouldn't say a haul i wouldn't say it's a haul simply because i don't know well i did do a i did do a lot of shopping but um i don't know what came in this package i still have two more packages coming from timu let's see what we have in here i hope it's not shaking too much so if y'all could see my face through the camera i'm like what are these when did i order these i don't quite remember ordering these but I know I be clicking on a lot of things, so we have some black binders. I am getting ready for, oh, that's ugly. I'm about to set a book on this to kind of flatten it out. Um, so it looks like I just got a whole bunch of A6 binders in this bag. So I got a lot of black. I want to do something for the guys. I feel like there's not a whole lot of guys cash stuffing or little boys cash stuffing. Um, so just how I've done, you know, Simone, her own little binder. I feel like little boys would want one too. So black, blue, red, white, maybe colors they would want to select. Um, I don't know. Just having a lot of different color options. These ones, I think I'm going to use this for my um, Bills binder. Maybe. I don't know. Just got some options out there. I did order some other stuff, not from Timu. I've been ordering on Sheen, Timu, Alibaba, um, AliExpress. I've been doing a lot. So um, different binders, trying to find different vendors for different things. I got cute little savings challenge boxes that I ordered. This is like the one I did my $3,000 vellum savings challenge in. I've had more A6 binders. This does not have the, this does not have the little buckle on it. And it's just like my little regular A7 or A6 binder. I also got some cute little A7 binders. I ordered like so many of these is ridiculous. I think I ordered like 60 of these and uh, 50 of the A6 versions. I got a lot of these little boxes. I don't even know what kind of savings challenge is even gonna fit in here. I didn't realize how small it was gonna turn out, but bought it anyway. So we gonna make it work. We gonna figure out what can go in there. Um, I got a different little savings challenge box. I don't know. I'm just gonna test my creativity and see what can, what I can make shake in there. Um, I did also get this little thing. Now, I don't think any change savings thing is gonna make me give up my pretty pineapple. Oh God, what's going on back here? My little pineapple um, piggy bank, cause it's just, so beautiful but this is cute too so um i got some of these for like there go jack showing his tail i got um one of these because i thought this would be cute for like pennies nickels dimes quarters um as a savings challenge not a savings challenge but just like a little storage for your change um i thought about how they gonna send me it dirty why is it dirty okay I don't know if I'm gonna be ordering these again. Yeah, that's so dirty. Um, but anywho, I thought it was gonna be cute, so I ordered that too. It's it's a lot of stuff I've ordered, y'all. I'm just excited. I'm I'm super excited and I need to dial back my little shopping fingers. But that was all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and see you on my next video. Bye guys. Oh, Thank you for 450 something subscribers. I'm gonna say it in every video because I'm shocked every time I get a new subscriber. Thank you guys, bye.